Had a great film session um, right before we left SAC yesterday, um, which showed us the just contrast between how we play when we're super locked in and how we play when we, you know, take a couple plays off like we did in Sac Sacramento and it snowballed into losing by 30. So we seen both sides of us and we was able to come out and and uh, play our brand of basketball, which was gritty defensive basketball, getting up and down the floor. And I think we did. We hit all of those points tonight. Incredible, incredible. I mean, just happy for him because, you know, he's been trying to get his form back, trying to figure his rhythm out. And tonight, I think he did a good job of just talking up, commanding the offense, commanding the team on the defensive side of the ball. Just, you know, he was he was incredible tonight. So you want to keep building on that. And, um, you know, hopefully we uh, we get this next one. But he, he controlled the game and was able to get us back into it. I mean, I mean, that was... I, I, to be honest, we had no doubts when he walked up there. You know, I, I felt like we all were confident. Just, to, just the way the game was flowing and just how he was playing, everybody felt this energy um, to start the game. So I, I felt super confident when he went up there. And so three for four, crunch time like that. That was that was that was key for us. We needed those. If it helped, I mean, that he hit them, and you guys may have been confident, but it helped his confidence. I mean, if he shot him like he was confident and he ran back down court like he knew it was going in, so like. Um, you know, when he's playing aggressive like that, when he's downhill, he's talking up to it. Like he's, he, he, was, he did it all for us tonight. I'm, I'm excited for him because this is the type of game that we all needed to see. I think everybody else on the outside basketball fans in general was loving it. Uh, you know, couldn't wait to see this type of performance from him. So, like I said, we, we expect that from him every night. It just gives us all confidence, you know. Look how many wide open shots we got tonight. You know, Royce got a lot of wide open threes. Joe got started getting some threes. Yuda got some threes. Seth got some shots, you know. So I think Ben just getting downhill, making plays, and then you combine that with Royce with 11 assists, myself who can create a little bit off the dribble. It just gives us, you know, more weapons out there on the floor. After, I mean, talk about the film session. After the Sacramento game, losing about 30-some odd, whatever, just... How much of a value is there in pulling out a game the way you guys did? Nice win by 10, 12. Yeah. Is there a value in kind of grinding one out? Like yeah, I mean, late game situation is always good for practice. You know, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, late in the season playoffs is the type of team you want to be. So, you know, as many games as you can get where you're working on your late game situations, you're working on your late game rotations is good for your team. Obviously, you want to win every game going away and up 10 in the fourth quarter. But like you said, it's going to be games like this when we, we got to just figure it out. And then tonight we did. You know, Royce was incredible all night. I left the ball, left my hands, and felt like it was going in. But uh, Royce was able to time it. And, you know, it was just one of those games we deserved to win, to be honest. Like, if you look at the stats from what they shot from the field, what we shot, rebounding, assists, you know, all that stuff was in our favor. And I felt like we deserved to win this game.